Hey everybody, it's Joe. Uh, sorry I've got to be quiet because it's late and everybody's sleeping, but I needed to tell you guys about this. Uh, and don't look <laughs> too much at the mess around the periphery here. This is just my workspace and I, I really need to clean it up, but uh, actually I've got, hold on, I, I keep like little quotes around, uh, little inspirational quotes like this one. A messy room is a sign of a brilliant mind. That quote comes to us from science. Psychology, psychology, actually, it's that uh, a messy workspace indicates that you might be brilliant. So it's not a guarantee, but I take, I take comfort in that. Um, however, there is, there is like another quote around here that I think it's right here. Yeah, this is, here we go. This is, yeah, this is, this is my mama. And even though I'm, I'm a grown man and in my own house and have been for years and have my own kids, this voice is still sometimes in my head and sometimes in my mouth when I'm talking to my own kids and stuff like that. And then uh, also there's there's this one right here, which is which is when are you going to clean up this mess? Which is is Mrs. 3D Printing Professor, and it's 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 basically the same message, but a little bit much nicer, much nicer. Which I think if I take all of these messages in some means that I should probably clean this up at some point. Uh, and I'm sure I will, but for now I need to focus on, uh, I'll get that later. The printer block set that I've been working on. I hope you guys are following the Kickstarter and having a good time. These are, these are turning out fantastic. So this is the base printer block and this is one of the base connectors and you can just snap them in there and then They'll snap together with other printer blocks. And you this is like voxel building. You can build anything you want with these, which is really cool. But now in the Kickstarter, we're we're making mech parts. Parts for making uh, robot mechas. And I have some parts today to introduce you guys to that I felt like I needed a video to to really show us, particularly these parts right here. Um, the Kickstarter is doing great. We've just passed another stretch goal, which means I need to add more parts to it and release them. And these are some of the parts that we're going to be releasing. But with every one of these stretch goals, I try to add to the base blocks. And these are the additions to the base blocks that we have. So first, I want to introduce you guys to these two pieces. This is a ball and socket. So when you snap them together like that, there we go. You get kind of a full 360 range of motion. And I've, this design, I've actually been working on it since before the Kickstarter. I had to iterate the design a couple of times. I've put some little nubs on, on the socket so that it will hold it a little bit tighter and, uh, and not be as floppy around. And this part is, is kind of key to building, I think, really cool articulated mechs like this so here we go like this look at look at the articulation that we get on this guy now this also has the the 90 degree bend part from the previous ones and this one actually has one more part that i was i was going to try and release these on separate tiers but i think i'm going to go ahead and release them all in this tier which makes this a big update but it the, what this does this this part's right here and let me show you what it does so this part has a little circular nub on it and that circular nub is perfectly designed see the hole that these things go into it has these little nubs around the edges and and those are designed to hold the blocks in place and hold them steady but with this piece right here uh let me just there we go oh i just snapped that one right in half well, let's pretend like that didn't happen. Let's just, uh, let's get that out of here. So, we'll try it on, on this one and hope that that doesn't happen again. Okay, so if you take this with one of the standard blocks, then, uh, let's just get it in there. It pivots. It can pivot in 360. So that allows for some really cool motion here. And uh, now there's a problem with this block. 
because it prints standing up like this, because the layers are going this way, this piece sometimes snaps right off. Now I've, I've adjusted the tolerances so that happens less often, but there is another solution and it's teeny tiny. Look at the size of this thing. It is so small, but this has the same round nub, but it prints laying down so the layers go this way so it's less likely to break and this one it, it it is half of a normal connector and half of the round connector and the way to use it is you put the normal half into a, a norm any any connector and let me see if i can get it in there it's hard to get the balance let me do it on the side uh, the side connectors seem to work a little bit easier top and bottom are very difficult and if you happen to be on the beta team and you guys have been 3d printing these tell me if you have discovered the same that the top and the bottom are harder to snap things into in the side because that's kind of starting to inform my my decisions but with this now any piece can become a pivot piece so let me just oh grab Grab just another block here and put it in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that works. So that little can now my problem with that is that that is a really and it also likes to go on the other side, but that is a really, really, really little connector. That is tiny, but it does it does have big implications. So that's kind of like advanced usage. I want you to be careful about using that because it's so tiny, but it's super capable. So there we go. Those are the those are the additions to the just that little connector that and then the ball and socket joint, which I think allows for all kinds of cool articulation and and uh, things like that. I don't want to I don't want to stand because if I stand them up, you can't see anything. Now. I will mention that uh, his arms right now are actually legs from the previous uh, tiers. In the previous tiers, we were building mechs like this, little chicken walkers like this. But the feet and the legs were, were one printed part, and I have since broken those out now. Now they're two parts, which means that if we're super clever, we can use the legs uh, for things other than what they were meant for. We now have just a little 90 degree connector here that kind of goes out a little bit, but I'm using it right now for my robot's arms and just putting the hands on them. And talking about the hands, people have noticed that the hands that I built have a little hole in them. Now, if I'm being completely honest, the reason why I put the hole in there is because it was easier than modeling a complete finger. These fingers are actually just rounded cubes <laughs> but in, instead of having a cube go all the way around i put the hole in there and it looks like a finger but that also gives us the opportunity to have accessories that they can hold onto. and really there's only going to be one part and that's going to be part of this of this set and that's this right here this right here slides right there we go right there slides right into the fist right there, but it's got a connector on top. And so we can then take it and take, let's take uh, the, the Gatling gun from our previous, I have to get a clip, put it in there. There we go. And I'll grab a Gatling gun and we'll just snap a knot there. And boom, he's got a handheld Gatling gun. Or if you don't want to do a Gatling gun, we can we can go as far as, as constructing. So I've got uh, this cool little piece right here, which is just, it's just a filler piece. It's just a little cap, but I think it's kind of cool looking. And if we take it and maybe put a short extender on there and snap it on there, and then uh, oh, I need to separate this. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the separation, but I've recently added a hole on here, which should make separating these a lot easier with just a little paper clip well there it goes got it uh, and then we can take that put that on here we can even make custom guns and stuff like that or and this is going to be in this ex in this uh tier in this stretch goal um I take that out again oh boy here we go <laughs> okay i think i need a 
stronger paper clip. But I made this. Now this was my experiment at seeing if I could make something that would connect corner to corner like this. But unfortunately, I don't think I can make it any more than two millimeters wide, which means I don't really have a whole lot to work with. But it does work for this particular one. So there we go. We've got a, a cool little print a block sword blade. And of course, these these blades, these connectors, they'll connect with anything else that you want. So we can, you know, give our give our robot a sword knee or something. I don't know why we'd want to do that, but it, the possibilities are yours. Also in this, I've created a new double panel. This this basically is just for covering up two uh, two blocks and and you know just so we don't see the open things like that you can put this on there and it'll cover up two of them like that i also created this one which is just a single but it kind of extends out a little bit and the idea was that it would go over the knee like this but now that i'm looking at it just before this video i was looking at it and i don't think that looks very good i don't think that worked at all i was trying for something and i don't think i made it so i think i think these guys are I think these guys are out, so forget about them. That was a mistake. That didn't even happen. Um, but I do want to show you guys that, that the designs are iterating. So I made a little chainsaw that would, you know, again, we could put it into hand or we could, you know, we could take the hand off and we could put a chainsaw hand on him uh, with a clip. We could put that on there. But the problem was when I looked at this chainsaw, I was like, that is a pity little chainsaw. So after I printed it, after I did my test print, um, I went back and I remodeled it and I made a much, much bigger chainsaw that I think is a much more respectable uh, mech chainsaw like that. So if, 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 if it seems like I'm working, you know, working slowly on these, uh, you know, I'm trying to produce a lot of things and sometimes they take two or three tries. And like I said, these ball joints took a ton. So I'm working really hard for you guys to try and make this as cool as possible, but I'm super excited. I'm excited with the articulation pieces and the possibilities that they open up, being able to pivot around and being able to, uh, let's see, there we go. Well, split that one right in half. I clearly have to fix these tolerances one more time because they are destructive in their current set. Um, but we'll work on that. Yeah, sometimes sometimes these designs take two or three or four tries to get right, and this one clearly isn't even right. You guys are watching it fail right here, so I'm going to keep working on it, but I really think that, that we need that degree of articulation because I want to be able to, you know, like put this on, on legs and have them be able to move and stuff like that, and, and then put the ball joints on ankles and have them be able to move. I think that this is key to making really cool models and really cool mechs. So that is the next tier of print -a block uh, Like I said, I, I felt like this one needed a video just to show you guys this particular piece and the complexities involved in it. And it's, it's a tiny little thing, but that's what it's for. And when you guys get it in your hands, I will have iterated this design two or three more times and it will break other blocks less, hopefully. <laughs> but... But that's where we're at so far. It's looking pretty good. Thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, we crossed another stretch goal today. And that was in part because of a very nice tweet from Naomi Wu. So thank you, Naomi, uh, for tweeting this out and, and helping me get to that next stretch goal. I hope that this keeps going. I hope you guys keep me busy and keep me having to model. This tier was amazing. I don't know if the next tier will be as big or amazing, but I think that this tier is is the one where this set really turned a corner with some of the some of the really cool articulation that's possible. I think next I'm going to be working on tank treads and wheels, and then we're going to be working on spider legs and stuff, and we'll see where this goes. We'll see we'll see how far you guys keep this going for me and and how far this can go i'm excited i hope that you're excited and thank you guys for your support